Hello everyone, Morp here, and welcome back to our Bobblehead Location Guide. We are here with part 5 of The Mire. Uh, definitely make sure to click like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff here. And we are going to get right into it here. So our first up, we are going to have um, Berkeley Springs. Now there are going to be um, three locations here. Now, um, in this guide, I, everything is listed alphabetically, just like all the other ones. You can click down in the description for the playlist of the other ones. And uh, so I, in this guide, I try to do everything to show how you can get to all of these locations without using a jetpack. Uh, so when possible, just like here, I'm going to run up and show you where to go to the stairs. And anywho, so we're going to be going right up here into the roof. This first one is going to be located right next to a TV, right here. And so for our next location, we're going to be going back up to the other side of the building over here. This is where the drop connection event is. You make your way up here by the stairs. There's going to be like a little cart looking thing in the bob. And it is going to be sitting on the bottom shelf right here. And as you can already tell, as with all of these guides, this is showing alphabetically kind of like a resource guide of every location in the wasteland actually showing the bobblehead there. So um, definitely make sure you click like and all that stuff if you want to show some support to the channel. That, that like button really does help. Uh, so anyway, here is our last one. You're going to be making your way up the scaffolding here. And rock and roll right down on the desk here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's move on to our next location, which is at the Big B's Rest Stop. Now this one, you got some uh, floaters here. Make sure you kill them. And obviously these are all edited because these took many, many, many server hops on some of these. And I definitely went to make sure to went through and killed everything so that uh, we can get the footage nice and smooth for you guys. Alright, so this one's right underneath the bed, right there. So next up, we have Camp Venture. Now, there are three locations here. You can do these in pretty much any order. They're all kind of right smack by each other. I just chose to go up here first. This one's going to be right on the roof. Now, this next location, it, it seems like it falls. Like, the, kind of the physics with these uh, bobbleheads, it seems like there was, might, was supposed to be, like, on top of the thing, but it seems to fall. On this one, it kind of, like, bugged through the, the little metal thing right there. Sometimes it's been a couple inches left to right. Uh, but from there, we're going to go inside. There's actually going to be a locked door. I already locked it here. I'm going to go right next to the weapon workbench. And wham, bam. Alright, so next up, we have a crevasse dam. There are two bobblehead locations in here. Now, this first one's going to be inside here. Kind of my like little hand washing area. little sink. Right there. And as with all of these, these, these will be a lot easier to find if you have the Perceptive Bobble perk, perk on, which will have a little audio, audible sound that you can hear that can help you locate it. Um, but it is also the same sound as um, if you have the, the one for the magazines as well, so that might be a little confusing. Anywho, that, that one's really tricky. You have to basically go down and crouch to get that one. Okay, so next up we have Dolly Sod's Wilderness. There are two in here. There's this first one that's going to be off to the right, underneath the cash register. Right there. Boom. Now this next one's going to be in the building. Not the same building, but off, off past here. Let's see. We're going to sneak right through the door, and we're going to make our way up here. And it's going to be upstairs to the, to the left. And there'll be various, various different dudes in here. Sometimes there's ghouls, sometimes there's bugs, and then there's the little puppies. So anyway, we're going to make our way to the Dagger Chemical. Now, this one actually does have four locations. If you, any of you are familiar, there is one of these that is, has been bugged down as far as I can remember. I do include it as the fourth one here to show you where it is and just also to remind, remind you and just to share the frustration with everyone that it's annoying because you can't click it. Uh, but we'll get there in a second. So that was the first one. Second one's going to be up here in the corner. Wham, bam. The next one's going to be off in a little work shed looking thing. Just past these, um, well, big round containers. I'm not actually sure what they are. Should make your way in here. It's going to be kind of next to the little water, the room heater thingy. Alright, so now we're going to show the, the broken one. 
Now this is going to be up, up here. You're going to go up some stairs, not stairs, some ramps or whatever you want to call it. You make your way in here. So this is the one that like you can't click it. It's uh, you know, you can try to shoot at it. You know, nothing you can do to get it to get it to move. It's just totally, totally busted. But your, you know, the perceptive bobble will still have it making the noise. It's, yeah, it's annoying. All right, so we're gonna move on to Haven Church. Uh, there will be one in here. This is right off to the left in a little, little room here, a little, little office. It's pretty easy to find. Wham and bam. All right. So next up we have we have Moss Town. Okay. Now this this one, uh, there are two locations here. If you try to get this first one in first person, uh, at least I wasn't able to grab it. But if you stay in third person, you can actually get it from uh, right through the little window here, otherwise you've got to run around. The other one is going to be right smack on this office desk right there. Boom, boom. Alright, so next up we have Mop Home. Now, I'm not sure if this one is like another one that's affected by physics. I don't know if it's like supposed to be up on top of that whatever thingy, and it falls, but I've only ever found it back here on the ground. So it is a little, little bit hard to find um, in, in with all the grass there. Anyway, so we have the, uh, the Southampton in the state. You can either grab the first one or the second one, doesn't really matter. And the second one, um, uh, if you have a jetpack or more soup, you can actually just jump up on that little outside thing and just grab it right through the window. But again, I'm showing how to get all these without using jetpacks and stuff. A little bit hard to see, it's right behind the body right there. Boom, boom. All right, so next up we have the Sunny Brothers Cabin. Now this one, uh, you might actually have trouble finding it because it's it's right up there, sort of in the open. Uh, oh yeah, and this uh, this is one that I show you how to get it without a jetpack. You just have to do a running start and just kind of jump at the very end here. And you'll be able to jump up and over the right there, and it'll be in various little locations here. It seems like it falls, and it'll just be lying down right there. Boom boom. Alright, so next up we have Tanagra Town. I try to do this one. I try not to speed up the footage as much as possible. Um, if you guys are familiar with this place, I think this is probably one of the coolest locations in the game. And basically you can only go one path up here, so you don't have to worry about really getting lost. The only other option is there's a cave entrance when you go in here, so... If you go to make a turn and you go in and say, well, cave, don't do that, just take the right. Otherwise you're just gonna keep kind of wiggling your way up here. There's the cave I'm talking about. Down here you go through a little doorway to keep going. And now, once you get up here, there's going to be a destroyed house. This one can be kind of tricky. Um, I didn't take off marsupial with a jetpack that kind of show here. And I actually kind of mess up the jump. But there's a little broken down house there. Kind of do a running jump here, and you can get onto here. And this, I kind of mess up right here. But, uh... You're just gonna jump kind of over there, and it's gonna be on the end of the bed there, sitting right smack Rooney. All right, so next up we have the retreat. All right, so this one has three locations. So this one's kind of a little confusing to run around in here, um, but the uh, kind of might get a little backwards. But first one's gonna be over by this little fridge here on the second, sh or actually the bottom shelf. Wham bam, I'm gonna turn immediately around and it's gonna be on like a little shed off to the left here. Not a shed, but uh, whatever you call these little tree house. Right below where there's a magazine spawn, right there. Now the next one you're gonna be turning around and it's gonna be, I'm gonna kinda go up one little level here. And I'm gonna move off to the right. This one's gonna be kinda tricky to see. Make your way around, right in there. Okay, so moving on, we have uh, treetops. Now, this one has four locations. This one took forever to serve out to get all of them to spawn. Uh, three of them are basically on a similar level, and then one further up here. Kind of wiggle your way up until you get to a level where you see some bowling pins. So we're not going to grab that one first. You're going to grab right here next to the sleeping bag and the tool, tool chest. Turn immediately around. And it's kind of acting as the middle pin there. Alright, boom. And now you're going to take a left here. And down right next to the little garden gnome. 
right here. And so our final bobblehead for the guide here will be one little step above here. You turn around and uh, you go up two little sets of stairs. And then we got our last one. So anyway, yeah, make sure you guys click down in the link for the other bobblehead guides. And we have a couple more coming here. Alright everyone, well thank you so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out to members of More Town, Bumpy's Jim, Crazy Town, Christine, and Wendy S. And as well as all the members of Team Morph. It's been a lot of fun recording all this stuff with you guys on our member chats. And also thank you to everyone in the support and the entry levels. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely, yeah, again, make sure you go click down in the description and watch the playlist of all the other locations. And we will see you guys out there in the wasteland.